Good morning. My name is Mike Shepard, and today I want to talk to you about tribal gaming. Gaming, as you know, is a huge industry in the United States. Tribal gaming, which involves 240 tribes nationwide, accounts for around 20% of all gaming revenue. So, not the majority by any means. The rise of tribal gaming dates back to the 1980s and is a product of a Supreme Court case called California v. Cabazon and Morongo Band of Mission Indians. This decision upheld the rights of tribes as sovereign nations to conduct gaming on lands free of state control. In Wisconsin, the tribes negotiate gaming compacts with the state and contribute millions of dollars to the state economy through these agreements. Gaming has meant jobs and strengthened economies for several of Wisconsin's tribes, including the Ho-Chunk people. Most of tribal activities are funded through gaming, so it is very important for our people. Also, you might be interested to know that 80% of the people employed in tribal gaming in our state are actually non-native people. Gaming, therefore, helps provide jobs and revenues for local economies in our state. One other thing to be aware of, only around 40% of American Indian tribes are actually involved with gaming, and what we see in our area is not exactly the norm when it comes to tribal gaming. As with anything, there are pros and cons when it comes to gaming, and it's a complex topic. Thanks for listening today. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Morning, Tigers. It's, I'm Kim and that's Lois. It's Wednesday, November 29th, and it's an A day. It's also Riley Jurseth's birthday. Happy birthday, Riley. Today we're hearing from FCCLA and our club, plus the harvest of the month. First, according to the Bureau of Labor T Statistics, a quarter of high school students worked in 2014. And some of those students worked more than just one job. Working and staying on top of your game at school can be hard, but can you imagine working two jobs and doing that? Danny Bernabe Graffy talked to a few students to see how they do it. My name is Andrea Peterson and I work at an after school program called Blast and Stone's Throw in Hatfield. It's kind of hard because you have to balance time for your friends and schoolwork and still have work and try to do your errands and all that, so it's kind of difficult with time management. Yeah. All right. I'm Matthew Jacobs and I work at Skyline Golf Course and Castle Hill Supper Club. You know, it can be really stressful because you have to manage between your schoolwork and um, your professional work at your job. Take care of yourselves. A study from University of Michigan found that students who work long hours sometimes struggle with college completion. It's time for announcements. On Monday, December 4th from 6 to 8 at the Middle School Commons, the Black River Falls, FCCLA, and our club are hosting an Empty Bowls event. Buy a hot bowl of soup and a warm piece of bread. All proceeds go to the local food shelter and help end hunger in our community. High school and middle school students will also be exhibiting and selling handmade items. If you are looking for low-cost holiday shopping items, this is an event to attend. A portion of the gifts sold will be donated to charity. Generosity can take many forms. Here's another. Friday, December 1st is the first FCCLA Bullet Drive. If you're planning to donate, here are a few tips. So number one. Get plenty of sleep. You'll feel more alert when you're giving blood. Number two. Drink lots of water. It helps your circulation and prevents lightheadedness. Eat a good breakfast and avoid fatty foods. It makes your blood too difficult to test for infectious diseases. And finally... Hopefully you've been eating your leafy greens, red meat, and raisins. They help increase your iron levels. 
Here's a healthy food you'll be getting a chance to sample. The harvest of the month is cauliflower for November. Cauliflower comes from the family of cabbages and originates from Asia Minor. This great vegetable will be featured on veggie pizza that will be for sale in the commons today during Focus. Come buy a slice for one dollar or stop to pick up a recipe for some other great dishes with cauliflower. That's it for today. Remember, restart your computer. Then, check your email, check, check your grades, and check your attendance! <laughs> <laughs> Have a great day, Tigers! <laughs> Bye!